Victoria, the teen librarian at the Waco McLennan County Libraries, and today we are going to be doing a painter's tape art program. So all you need for this is a canvas or otherwise some other material to paint on. Paint, of course. Uh, foam brushes or paint brushes, you can use either one, but I like the paint the foam brushes just because it's a little bit wider and it's easier to spread paint throughout the whole canvas. And finally, of course, painter's tape. So I've chosen a tree design that is going to run in a landscape um, perspective. So I'm going to have trees here and my bottom coat is going to be different shades of green. And then on top of that, I'm going to layer brown. So by the time we're done, it's going to be the trees that look green, the three different shades of green, and then brown would be the background even though we put that on last. So let's get started with our green. I'm going to take, I'm going to go um, lighter to darker up the canvas. Pretty much for this program, there's no way you're not going to get paint on your fingers. So if you want to spare yourself from that, I do suggest you wear gloves. All right, I'm going to try and get this boundary kind of straight. You could probably use the painter's tape for this to just t um, temporarily put it on so you can make a straight line, but I'm not too concerned about a straight line for this one because I am going to blend the colors with my finger and it'll, it'll be messy anyway. Okay, so that's that color done. I'm using acrylic paint, so it normally doesn't take too long to dry. So I'm just going to go in light circles and go ahead and blend these first two colors. There's a lot of examples online of different designs that people have with the painter's tape and sometimes instead of painting the background, they actually put washi tape and then protect the chosen pattern with the painter's tape and then they paint over it so when you peel off the painter's tape, it's the washi tape underneath and they've made some really, really cool designs with that. But there's so many options with the, you know, the tape and the painter's tape. Okay. Now I'm going to blend in these colors a bit more. As we can see, the paint is still wet, so before we um, put on the painter's tape, we're going to want to wait a bit for this to dry. So our canvas is dry. Um, I am going to now put on the tape. So I have a tree design which requires a lot of pieces of tape, so I have made those beforehand. But the basic process is I just take one strip of painter's tape for the trunk, and I put that on there. And then I um, take off other strips, and I rip them along the sides for the branches. Um, this does mean that the paint, when you paint the brown over, it will kind of get under the tape, but because they are the branches, I do kind of want it to look that way. Plus it looks crackly enough, so it looks like a tree anyway. So we'll just put this down here. It's always best to sort of run the back of your nail along it or like a ruler along the edges um, because the paint will get in there pretty easily. What some people have done is paint the bottom layer back on top of it, just not over the whole thing, but just over the edges. That way it seals it in and then you can paint the final layer on top and it doesn't get under. And that works pretty well, um, but because this is a tree, I'm not going to really bother with painting over that because it doesn't matter so much. So now that we have our trees down, I am going to paint it all over with the brown. We'll give the brown some time to dry, and then we'll peel it up and see what the design is. done. Just a little bit more. Oh, 
And there's that edge coming up, but I'm just going to not put any more paint into that. I also didn't cut the bottom of the tree straight because I didn't want them to be completely straight. So when your pieces aren't straight, it does make it harder to, to not paint underneath it. Alrighty, so we have our canvas pretty much covered. I'm going to wait for the brown to dry and then we will see how it turns out. So you can take off the paint when it's still wet, but it, it is really messy and it doesn't peel quite as well. This is semi-dry, so I'm going to go ahead and do it, um, but the drier it is, the gummier it will feel. So, and it, and it does feel cleaner when you pull it off, but it's pretty dry right now, so I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to start pulling it off take some of these off if they don't come off. But this actually, oh, okay, this actually came off in its entirety. So there is the first tree. Let's move this away. And like you can see, it's, it's pretty messy, so. Okay, third tree. And as you can see, it does, um, it's not completely clean cut here because of the way I tore the tape, but that is how I wanted it. So it's turning out really good and it doesn't look like the tape has gone too far into the design. So doubly good. And let's peel the last tree. And there we have it. This is our painter's tape art with the tree design. And you can see the gradations, it's getting lighter and then darker near the top. Um, you can do so much with the painter's tape though. I have some other examples here. You can do a completely geometric or abstract shape with it. Um, I did this one a little bit ago and it turned out really well. And this one, I haven't actually decided what I'm going to paint the segments or if I'm gonna paint it all the same color, if I'm gonna blend it, but it actually looks pretty good with that paint. So that's kind of what I was saying about the washi tape before. Some people have the tape as part of the finished product and because the painter's tape is so straight and it's so smooth, it can look really good in the end. But you are going to have a chance to do this craft too on, our, uh, on your own with us. Um, if you come to the South Branch on June 15th from 2 to 4.30 p.m., we are having a come and go program, so don't worry about coming right at 2. But we're going to have canvases, we're going to have paint. I'm going to bring a ton more decorations, so it doesn't have to just be paint. I have washi tape, I have beads, I have sequins, I have glitter, I have little foam balls. Um, so we have a lot of stuff and it's going to be a lot of fun, so I hope to see you there.